start to discuss uh, testing topic. Okay, so testing types. What are they? Why do we need them? Uh, is it really a good idea to start uh, our video blog with testing types? Like, why not methodologist or something like general terms? Why testing types? Yeah, usually every course on functional testing starts from mentioned from the topic mentioned by you, but we decided to start from maybe the most uh, difficult topic in functional testing. It's the testing types. Yeah, there are so many different classification. You can find a lot of different images in the internet, a lot of different schema. And sometimes you just doubt that you can know all of the testing topics and information can be really opposite, controversial. But you can even describe your as a tester using testing types. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Wow, cool. Definitely. And uh, here we can start uh, from this that uh, we can describe. Uh, usually we describe ourselves as uh, functional testers, but at the same time we are all uh, manual testers. Why we start from functional testing, not from manual one? Actually, yeah, it seems like we're not going to test uh, non-functional uh, te uh, yeah, tests to perform non-functional testing, yeah, to check GUI elements or something like that. Maybe functional testing means that this is like the most difficult, the most crucial testing uh, while yeah, checking our application. What do you think about it? Why functional? Yeah, you know what? I would like to say some words uh, maybe not connected to our topic, but uh, one of my favorite phrase is that uh, testing in general is not a science. So there are different approaches in each topic of functional testing. And here we have uh, like also a lot of uh, examples uh, of testing types, uh, their definitions, and so on. So uh, I would like to say that for me, it's functional testing like approach to test the application where we uh, divided every application on different features and test these feature, features uh, using different approaches different other different testing types yeah so, like features functions like synonyms maybe yeah yeah i i think that this like synonym synonyms and uh, so functional tester this is a person who come to any project he, uh, and uh, see application and uh, uh, divide it into several features and apply different testing types uh, to perform testing of these features. Yeah, and we are going to test our features manually, yeah, using our hands without kind of codes. Yeah, yeah. you're showing that mostly not about with hands, yeah, but with our brains. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that, yes. We, that's we great. include. But yeah, our hand, our eyes for sure, and the switch on our brain. It's very important in testing. Okay, but do you agree with the statement that most of modern uh, testers are going to enter the IT, yeah, to become manual testers and them to study like programming language and to become automation testers? Have you, have you know that most of them dream to become an automation yeah. testers? Every interview I, I hear, hear this and uh, okay, I'm smiling about this. Actually, uh, when I uh, become uh, uh, and when I start my career in testing and uh, for many years, uh, it was like uh, uh, bad news for me uh, to become an automation engineer because I am not a technical uh, person, so I uh, don't like this type of testing. But what about you? Okay, actually, I've got the idea to become an automation testing before uh, being at real project because I see that manual testing 
Uh, manual testers have got a different activities, a lot of different activities, including writing test cases to be automated. So uh, I think that manual testing is much more interesting. When you are doing like automation, you're working mostly with the code. So you create a code, you run the same test cases, yeah, mostly smoke test cases, regression test cases, and so on. And you will receive the report in the code. So mostly you're going to work with the code. I suppose you should understand it, that you will need to study some kind of programming language and if we are talking about boring testing, I suppose automation, just for me, automation testing is just a good example of it. Yeah. That's for me. Yeah, I agree with you. For me, like uh, manual testing, it's very interesting uh, type of uh, work because we have different activities. We can create test cases, we can create bug reports, we can speak with a lot of people, with developers, with automation engineers, with uh, business analysts, with the project manager, with customer. So there are a lot of different activities and this is very interesting not to do like monotonously uh, only Repetitive, one work. Yeah. yeah, action. Yeah, agree. So, uh, so when, accessing yeah. the code is not a necessary uh, like attribute of testing because Actually, yeah, you can use white box approach and look through the code, but uh, F as manual tester, as functional tester, of course, we mostly use black box, uh, black box type, yeah, black box approach. Can you recollect for our listeners, what does it mean, black box testing? Okay, yes, and I would say this, so we this type of testing also describe like in general uh, testers so we are uh, functional testers we are manual testers and we are black box testers because we have no access to the code of the application or if we have access we can't understand it we can't do anything with the code because we are not programmers we are not automation engineers and it's also like a plus this is not a minus because uh, this type of testings and in general uh, show us that uh, we should uh, perform our testing, we should think as uh, end, end users. So we yeah. should Im imagine an application like uh, what it should be done by uh, users of the application, by our customers, for example, and think how we should test this from this point of view. Yeah, actually, you if you are like playing games, for example, in your mobile phone, on your personal computer, you also can have possibility to try yourself like a beta tester. But while working at a project, you're not a beta tester. If I'm not mistaken, it means that you're alpha tester. Alpha. Yeah. yeah. So there is a great difference between be being alpha and beta tester. So if um, you are decided to become a alpha testers, what do you need? You should be a profession and you should go to work as a tester. So you should be a part of the team, programmers, developers uh, and the whole project inside the company uh, who develop the application. So as a part of the team, you work as a tester and you are alpha tester. Congratulations. But yeah. If, yeah. <laughs> so beta testing is just like obviously final user. You are testing like a user, but alpha tester, you just imagine that you are a final user. You are still trying to do your best to, to find the best approach. Yeah, you're professional, not a final user, but still you should imagine all the features that are all the features are used by final users. Yeah. That's great. Cool, very cool. So uh, to sum up, uh, if we are talking the main uh, testing types which can describe us as a testers, we are functional, we are manual, we are black box and we are alpha testing. This is like uh, why we use this testing type from the other hand and uh, we should use uh, testing type and why it should learn 
uh, we think this uh, as a beginning uh, because uh, this uh, testing types uh, also are you this knowledge of this uh, specify you as a professional as a tester who has a job not like uh, this beta tester or regular user who installs the application mobile who opens some web uh, site and even find some issues no uh, this knowledge of testing types help you to cover to test the feature uh, widely and uh, on a professional level yeah that's that's definitely going to help you to create the best test strategy uh, to test your application maybe sometimes if you will look through the materials of the internet you will have a lot of different information and of course you just cannot uh, know all information about uh, testing types but of course you will need to sum up to know the most uh, like uh, testing types the most important one i suppose because some of them uh just exist only on the pages of books on the web pages of the internet and are not widely used and maybe this short video is just like introduction and of course we will share our opinions our like general information the most important information about types of software testing so stay with us yeah thank you